the stranded coyote inside of that smoke. He's got an arrow behind him attempting to reveal him as he sneaks around. The spams are coming in, keeping him at bay for now and indeed taking him down after with the spike planted. OG are looking good, but Excalibur's quick to jump back in and find one. Die. Already turning things back into a four versus three. The after plant going to make things fairly awkward for them. Although there was an opportunity, DPS is already going to turn around, spotting at least one of the remaining two players. Does eventually get caught out, but with both being so desperately low, can't really expect much from ESP in this scenario. Big rotate, big big rotate around a double stack up inside a bat. But oh no! Bulls got three. He's defusing, but he's so low. This should be the end of him. He gets it halfway, but that will be the end of it. Destrian, because they've been spamming. Going over onto Long. I'm gonna try and find the Spike opener. Drops. I am more intrigued though by the aggression that's actually coming out from the defenders as they've invested into this round and looking for the early fight. But Destrian will win this one out. Destrian's got it. Winning out the previous round, winning out the opening of this one. OG off to a good start. And where do they want to take things? Early snake bite usage from Unko doesn't look like they're going to be playing post plants. Instead, using those bits of utility to clear out angles and push Excala to the open. He swings. He misses. Made. Ooh, that's a little bit of damage. Almost a kill, to be honest. And the plant comes in. It's going to be a five versus three, but I, you know, if you manage to get two kills out of this, you'll be pretty happy as ESP. The, the, the only thing standing. for me is how much they've actually invested, because we did see them come up with... A fair few SMGs yeah. in this scenario, some Spectres as well, comes up for ESP. Again, this is a weaker purchase in the last round, so all, all we're really hoping for is that ESP at least build up a few odd points, do a bit of damage, force some rebuys. The thing is, there's not even the same risk here for OG, as they will be able to buy into the next round no matter what. And thus far, one kill. It's up to to try and get something done and they are so it just costs a lot of money man you can't afford to no buy it out every round and, and use them as freely as you would have in the past there's a hunter's fury catching himself a kill and who knows stuck in the corner but spotted out the seekers oh, no. near side him and take him down as true as doesn't stand a chance either great seekers from vic getting them all the information for those two kills on site and well, spotting bull coming behind they just left the thing for a place in the latter stages, battling for EMEA. That, that's the goal, so... Upload, even though I can see the clean feed. So I guess we have to presume all as well? Let's hope so. No, nonetheless, it is looking like OG just bodying their opponents once again as they walked into the site. Any aggression that's coming out from ESP thus far has been going too well, although Trex caught with an aid in hand. Unko's been playing incredibly aggressive so far in this game. I think he's using this as a, a stat padding opportunity. Cables. <laughs> he's chewing the cables <laughs> away, yeah. But at this stage, you know, yeah, OG are looking pretty damn clean, but a big buy from ESP is where they want to bounce back in those two fights right off the bat. They set the tone. The operator and the phantom coming in, that put them ahead by two. I like the fact that ESP are not shying away from these aggressive battles. Like the the fact is, when a lot of these openings have gone so far against them, a lot of teams will shy away from taking these sort of duels. But they're still willing to challenge for bathrooms control. Destrian though is going to catch another right back into a three v three scenario. As now with 50 seconds left on the clock, the attackers can just slow this one down and patiently wait for potentially another mistake. Bull ready with that operator in hand, but the head peak angle from Trex too strong. Oh, Excala! He almost ended up. If he had dropped that, if he, he if he hadn't have waited and just popped down the lockdown, that might have been destroyed. It could have been very dangerous indeed. But instead, lockdown is going to come into effect and push these players back. But they have a showstopper to play with, and who knows is still miles away. Coming up on the flank hasn't been heard just yet. Sova inside of his drone, his back turned, and he is gone. Oh! How? How? That is rough. That is very, very rough. And now Excala oh. is going to be completely isolated. Already looking to be shut down by the paint shell. DPS just waiting as well. They know that there's no chance for him in this round. They'll just peek this together and it's almost too easy. Six and zip. Ball game. It's not bad, but the fact is they're still losing these jewels. 
main response is just to try and get up in the face of the OG players. Try and do something risky with these pistols. But for now, at least, it is looking good again for OG. Yo, it's looking strong. They're on this side. They're healing up. Who knows? Again on that flank, but this time they're ready and waiting. And with a Bucky in hand, maybe he can get it done. There's a close range fight on offer. But Destrian gets away with it. Now this becomes so much more difficult. A full frontal assault is what awaits ESP as they want to push on out into this site through two choke points. And OG have more than enough manpower to cover these pushes. Looks like damage is going to be the name of the game. Pistols in hand, getting up close to Vic. Ready for the peak, but Coyote gets in for one. It's it, it's not qualifier rounds. That was an interesting peak by Unko through the one-way smoke and onto the side. He goes, even moving trying. around his own smokes to get right up behind oh, and no. catch Coyote this off guard. Crazy. Unko absolutely styling on these A players. Jet still remains, but that Seeker's even going to spot him out. Nobody will remain unchecked. They know there's a player towards Bath on A, and Unko is sneaking his way right up behind Elbow. He truce known to be here. He won't get away with catching anyone off guard, and that wolf only seals the deal. At this point, I think he's pretty dead. It's safe to say. Snake bites in just to secure it even further. He is trapped in a corner, unable to move. And Bull with an op might just consider this save now with a 1v3. Yeah, it, it kind of gets to the point, though, where you wonder if he might just take a risk. He's not far away from getting the Blade Storm, so even a kill or two in this round could make all the difference, but it does seem like you're right. Just keeping that weapon in play. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> that is a bold peak! Delay fixed! Everything's sorted! No way, Technical issues on. subsided! 8-0 right back where we left off. You haven't missed any action! In fact, you're catching some right now because OG are slapping the players on the B site down and taking over control. We had a fake wall put out on A to block out a lot of the control in the early round. They use their one way up and then get overrun on the site that they had stacked. Pistols, sadly, not matching up here, Tom. Yeah, th this is quite common, though. You're going to see a lot of Viper players just place down the same screen almost every single round and... The way it's utilized will just change in that direction. Like, okay, will it be used as a fake? Will it be used to try and pull players over? In this case, wow. It, it, it was mainly we saw ESP losing to the pistols in the previous match. It wasn't them actually taking things over the line. And again, this can be another flawless... Zero right now, as you said. Not feeling any sort of pressure. And the guys are on OG. Things are starting to really look bad. And, and you know, sometimes we would make the excuse that ESP Welcome maybe aren't so good on this map, but we saw previously that this is a map that they like to play as well. Oh my god! Whoa. How Whoa. has he done that? Show suffered one spun on a dime and taken the second kill. Trex is on fire with that play. He's having fun. You, you can tell he's having fun. Dive straight in, movement of a guard, and. Oh, Des Destrian's still alive. He's, he's still alive and kicking. True's gonna be the only one remaining. A few shot darts being placed out to try and at least do a little bit of damage, but it seems again that's another Jonas lineup that just hasn't quite worked out for him. Oh, are they actually gonna spot him with the Aldrim? I think they have, so now they have all the extra information and Destrian keeps the ball. I like the push from who knows. His position definitely not known, and he will win that opening fight. Unko punished. And this time, well, all of that utility left onto Viper will disappear. But the other thing is I think OG have run into stacks more often than they've run into the lighter sites. So they've been they've been hitting hard into multiple players. And look at what ESP have to work with. One of the main things I was gonna highlight was the orbital strike, which well it ain't there anymore. The flash confirms that we're gonna have a full door picked up and orbital strike for OG. Clears out lamps. Now Excala, they know that he can be around this area and he's already being spotted. The Vandal of Tvik looking for a victim. They've cleared them out with the smokes, the flashes, and now they get a plant. Content to wait for that retake to be mounted and Excala's picked up right away. Meaning there's now no ultimates online, Tom. The, the orbital strike and the lockdown both taken out of this round right at the start. Oh, Destrian, he seems so good. Uh, timing's gonna be everything and game are just not ready for that position our drone even being used the one bonus of having a ridiculous amount of rounds in a row well other than just winning is the fact you have so much available who knows this is the reality they're living in a blade storm of bulls 
desperately search for a victim and find it. Orbital Strike desperately popped down to try and catch anybody else moving forward. Bull still being revealed was peeking behind it. A barrel spotted a victim he senses could be on its way, but they're taking their time. OG losing an opening duel hasn't happened all too often without an immediate trade. And now they start to take it seriously. They get an old orb and fall back. DPS just one away from a Hunter's Fury. Nobody else has any online. And if they run into a site and find it clear, they'll have a lockdown to contend with afterwards. Without the Hunter's Fury being online right now, that's a pretty significant threat. Especially the, the longer the time goes down, the more valuable ultimate becomes. They've also left joy somewhat alone i say that because there's actually been some aggression coming out from the defenders on the other side of the map they've gone deep down on the push so they will have a decent idea that there's going to be a push coming into this b site already though trex is going to open one up left. looking to try and clear the back of the site fly over the top from ball gamer will at least get one but again down a man they turn it very quickly and with 20 seconds left despite this excala is going to use this lockdown but he's alone who knows is coming up behind, and the Hunter's Fury is going to destroy it anyways. They could have pushed them down at this stage and still been fairly comfortable. This is a pretty tough spot to play from. Excala has to stay alive, has to distract them as much as possible, but as he falls now, they'll look elsewhere, and who knows, should be detected in a matter of moments. These players ready to swing together by the looks of things. DPS and Destrian on the site. Just waiting for that moment where the players spotted and look at that. All three players swing at once. The yeah, and a, and a flawless half from Destrian as well. I, I yeah. For a second, I thought based on their position, wow. I was like, hey, oh, maybe he'll be the one to swing. DPS waiting for them. The wall blocking their way. The nade through will keep them back for now. No plan to be secured so as the smoke falls. Players. Unko and DPS Spike able to pick kill. Eight. Bath is now under their control. Unko even gets a oh, sheriff oh, out of it in the SP. They're dangerously close to not getting a single kill remaining. in the final round. It's all down to who knows. He's looking for one Destrian up close. Still has zero deaths on the board, and who knows, wants to finish him off, but no, he'll be as... Uh, probably more of just OG just battering their opponents, but I, I, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that at least maybe a team on their own map twist can get themselves around. Not the greatest of starts. The elaborate ruse, though. They've got B for free. Oh, they have. They've stuck on through. Who knows? Able to grab himself a kill as well. Those rotates catching Trex off guard now. ESP are in a pretty damn good spot. That Reina causing havoc. Quick, looking to do a little bit of the same. Ammunition's got to be running low right now. And the flank, it's cut off. Here's the reinforcements. The cavalry's here. A 2v4. Excala, ghost in hand, but plenty of players to take that fight. And look at that. The angle's just wrong to catch Sova out. Down goes Etrus. They don't know where Excala is, but that info is quickly obtained. And it promotes you too much for them. Well, let's see if sheer domination is going to be the name of the game again for oh gee i don't think i've ever seen that wall used in a comp game but destrian has got so much map control combined with that viper wall that just about gives him a bit of cover he's got a wall down and now he's fighting above it and dealing so much damage but it's happened destrian has died ladies and gentlemen witnessing history here in round number two of icebox his first death in vct Enemy remaining. <laughs> it does sound yeah. you don't see too much in terms of the variance of controllers as mentioned Viper's always going to be to go to now Excala I was going to say the no one will notice restarting right now so we're in trouble okay there we go okay we're back sorry about that guys internet not always my friend Oh, Trex, that's nice. So we actually didn't miss anything, did we? They just fell back. They got themselves to the back of the site, right behind the smoke. Now, they're dominating! Oh, no! All, all alone with a Vandal, and he's not able to get it done! Oh, that's a disaster God. for them over on ESP, a round that they surely had in the bag! Yeah, that was the bonus round as well. That poor gaming, who was doing it, fair enough. But I feel like they're going to put themselves in a really awkward financial spot over the next couple of rounds. Oh, Tvik. Oh, no, he gets spotted. All Bull, right. able to walk away with the kill. That's a great start. Snake bite down. Unko's feeling the pressure. You can see it. Poison Orb goes up, but it's about to go down. Running out of juice on this one, and up above as a player sneaking away with two there for Bull. Great openings in the end, and DPS struggles at the start, but ends up converting. It doesn't matter, though, because the flank hadn't been spotted. Trex gets the trade eventually, and we come into a 2v2. OG. 
having lost control of the site. Destrian wants to regain it, and he quickly deals with Bull before a triple kill, yeah, pretty much. And, well, it won't happen. <laughs> a quick end to it. OG firstly taking mid control, not spotting anything out. Now they're looking for deep A control with three players ready and waiting. I think they're just playing retake on B at this point. Like, they've managed to do it so cleanly yeah. over the last couple of rounds. I don't really blame them. And maybe just trying to stop the res from coming through as well. Like denying the early players because the Rainer was waiting there. Instead though, they've already found another pick as the push looks to come in once more. Yeah, this is a clear retake wall set up. Oh, oh, but they're about to catch the Viper off guard with a 9 yeah, ball! Grabbing one and converting onto a second! Five Huge count, play! Please. It could be a lifeline for ESP, standing. but maybe not, as the whole team falls and he's eventually dealt with a valiant effort by Bull, though. Dominion, we talk about this map as one that's been relatively strong for attacking side teams. So the fact that there's already five rounds for OG, like, I know we're talking about this like it's a... a, a genuine competition after the last map was 13 over to put it into perspective if they get any more rounds which they will this is already over yeah i'm with you i'm with you there for sure a judge on that range well that's a very ambitious attempt by coyote and one that sadly won't see any reward six to zero almost at the moment so realistically we're expecting big big things Trex, though, I, I'm enjoying watching him already. I, I mentioned the statistics at the beginning. Let's say now he's over like a hundred matches. He's averaging something not. like oh, 270 APS. So the fact that so far he's just been pushing and fighting anybody that comes into his way. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited by this youngster. Oh, for sure, man. For sure. I mean, the entirety of the OG lineup, though, they just got so much going for them. Hello. Up above, Bull's taken down. Inside we go as Unko oh, keeps no. on fragging the timing. Perfect. Not letting anybody slip through the cracks, and he keeps on pushing. Going right on through the Viper's Pit, sneaking past the player who had tucked up behind, All and right. as Etrus makes a damn good attempt at this round, it's going to fall apart. Look at that. Trex able to take him down, and Etrus has a quick flank coming up behind him. They're aware, though, at this point. Oh, never mind. Unko's just jumping it. The Eastern actually bait him out with a shoulder peek. That op ready and waiting for it. Etrus able to grab like, I kind of understand it in the this, in the grand scheme of things in terms of attacking nine rounds on the attack at times, and, well, that, that operator didn't, didn't last very long. Oh, no, they're just getting slaughtered. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is like the definition of snowballing. Oh, gee, they've got that momentum. They're rolling down the hill, and they are just picking up steam as they go. Scala looking to grab a little something, something, but uh, there's nothing going his way just yet. Who knows? Oh, that's... That's unfortunate. Spike down, who knows? Oh, Got an off. 1v4. <laughs> Let's see if he can get away with this. Oh, no, he oh. can. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Bunny hop headshot him. Battle and Trex. I feel like his opening kill stats are going to be pretty damn good at the end of this game. Yeah, I would uh, I would be with you on that one. It's a decent guess. We'll get it this round. We'll see how that one works out. Yikes. Trex, well, he didn't get the opening, but he got the second. It's a spiritual opening. On his way out of here, who knows? Gonna try to get a little bit of timing, but the Spectre in hand, you know, even if they're looking towards you, you're probably losing that duel. Wall bang attempt, dead and in there with the Sheriff! He'll even get more! Run towards the back of the site, the knives. Oh, no. oh he's no, dead he's now. Dead. He's so <laughs> dead. Yeah, Spike not a chance. Caramel, okay. Car oh, okay. Beautiful. So there's your recommendation well from Tom. If you're looking if for want, ice cream tonight... To sponsor me, I will <laughs> die, but it will be worth it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. You know who else is going to die? All ESP from what we're looking at. It's 9-0 on the board. DPS is just dominating. He had such a good map in the previous, and, well, it seems to be going the same from here. Pulling us into a 4 versus 3 and leaving ESP again, just clutching at straws to try and get back into this round. We're hoping for over-aggression. I mean, even if it comes in from OG, they just seem to be winning those individual duels at this point. Oh, you know what? Tana's just hit her hit us with the butterscotch ice cream. I'm with you. I'm with you there. That's that's some nice some nice ice cream. I'm honestly I'm on a coconut craze right now. Oh. I'm loving coconut. Let's go. No! no! Spike down A. That was the opportunity. That was the chance. One mm -hmm. enemy remaining. It's gone. It's done. We get to see another operator left. save. <laughs> Come on, 
Uh, nope. Uh, oh my god. Just in a spot where Trax being 16 to 2 is like almost not noteworthy because you're like, yeah, but he hasn't got zero deaths, so. He died, so <laughs> it's not impressive. He's not pedestrian. <laughs> Look at this guy with the op, man. He's having a field day. And this comes back to what we were talking about earlier that in this meta, it just doesn't feel worthwhile to play with an omen or a brim with those Enemy smokes. Remaining. You get a jet. Okay, she doesn't do it as well as an omen or a brim do, for sure. Cloud bursts are kind of dog at times. But the reality is, oh, they not. They, oh, they have seen him. They have seen him. They know he's here. Yeah. Come on, Kyo. He messed it up last I round. Mean. Oh, no, God, they've massacred him. Yeah. That 26 0. I really, really don't want to see a 26 0. Because that feels like it gets to the point where you go to call the bully hunters and get them to join your game. <laughs> you were actually introduced to that quite recently, weren't you? No, no, I'd, heur I'd heard of it, but I hadn't seen the video, and that that was... Spike down the video was something hey, else. Best yeah. content, maybe ever. <laughs> maybe ever. Oh! No! Coyote, he's, he's not having a good game, man. He is not having a good day at all, and it looks like no one on ESP is. You know what? Actually, good shout by the foe, right? Banana with chocolate pieces ice cream. Back to that topic. Um, because honeycomb ice cream, bro. Kinder Bueno ice cream. These are honey, honey, honey life changers. Honeycomb bangs. Honeycomb in, in is every nuts. Situation. In chocolate, in ice cream, it doesn't. Come on, let's get a pistol. That's what we're looking for. For let's ESP. go. First kill let's goes go. their way. Here Second we go. kill goes their way. Oh no! Oh no! No oh, other kills not going there. Stop it, DPS! Let them have a round. <laughs> Come on, man. Give them something for God's sake. Ah, oh, here we Bull go. Gamer. The plan's going down. Bull, come on. 1v3. Shock dart in. 50 HP. Ooh. He's going to dodge those expertly. It's like the Matrix. He's creeping up. No updraft, though. So he's hoping someone comes up above. Now he's being spotted. They dash down behind. Unco. That seems mad. Yeah, yeah. It's insanely strong. Here we go. Running on in towards the A site. We're going to see the attackers of OG look to overwhelm. They've found one kill, but now the entirety of VT are here and ready to hold off. That spike still not planted, but it will go down. Destrian planting as we speak, but a quick kill by the jet. Karen able to get a little bit of his own in, and all of a sudden, OG, they're starting to look a little bit worse for wear. Trex has to make it all happen, and with a 4K, he will close it out. OG, and it will get plenty of information. Two players, and most importantly, the Sky, so they wait for that flash, and then, oh, that's so smart. That is so smart. The Sova Peaks gets blinded. They hear, oh, we blinded someone. Let's swing on out. Little do they know, there's two players who can see plain as day and just mow them down. I love that adaptation. And now OG get themselves a two-man advantage because of it. Yeah, this round as well. Not really much in terms of weaponry utility will be at a minimum as well for VT. So... Realistically, this round is looking over. One-way smoke as well is going to make things really awkward for them pushing back in. Just covers the angle, but also if you do try to sneak past it, your little feet are going to be revealed. So it, is, it makes things all the more easy for any player looking to hold the angle. And DPS, he's been impressive with his shock dart so far. I enjoyed them on Icebox, but just using them to chip away at the remaining. Start of the round. Okay, OG don't get that control of B-Long, but they stop VT from wanting to push it. Destrian. Quick to pick up one. Unko's on the side already, but it's Destrian who's picking up that kill. Unko eventually tries to get one, but he doesn't. And then Destrian comes in and trades it. Dude was on fire. Last time we saw him on bind, zero deaths. He was unbelievable. Now he's looking to do more of the same. I, th I think he's already died. He's already so died, but I he, think his, similar his, his KD cannot be better, no matter what, because it was infinite right in the previous game. Hmm. But, uh, oh. He always seems to have them at the right time as well, just to make it as irritating as possible. Like, deep these sort of rounds especially, this is where you want to see teams like taking some initiative, not just going off the basis of a round and hoping that you can just win off some magical pistol shots instead. They're going to make things a bit more awkward, and it does look like OG are going to push directly into the stack. We don't see much of the Bucky nowadays, but it is definitely the cheaper option when it comes to shotguns, and there's a real chance that Gastalion will get something here. Oh, there we go. He does connect the one, but that's going to be it. The downfall of the Bucky. Quite easy to trade if it's done well. The snake bite shock dart combination. It's dangerous, but Karen manages to expertly avoid it. Then up comes. I mean, the cycle of utility that you get with Viper, it always gets me, man. It's such a good agent. 
I can't wait to see how KO is used against it when he comes into VCT, as you're saying earlier, Tom. Not not in here just yet. But like, oh man, I want to see pro players with their hands on him. Oh, remaining. hello. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with how many roster changes they've made, risks they've taken. Well, speaking of oh. risks, it's a very aggressive push for Trex, but the trade is there for DPS, almost used as a distraction. Yeah, so well. So well played, the fact that they're able to just trade out again and again. Those players being torn what? apart. Unko didn't have a good time earlier, but now he's starting to deliver and really amped up with Destrian, closing out the r time for Zane to potentially cause them some issues. Trex, though, not happy with just getting the spike down. He wants to try and kill off a couple of players, make sure that this round is not going to go far, and Unko already picking up one more. Here comes the flank, though, from VRQX, which has managed to find one. They knew that Zane was up close, so a nice kill for them, and Fake just hiding inside of that Viper's pit will be caught on his way. Today they were 24-0, and zero, or 26-0, and zero, right? Now another six on the yep. board, 32-0. Ain't bad. That ain't bad. We'll see if they can keep it going. And certainly with the opening pick going their way, they're looking good. They've spotted Viper up close. Out goes the Wolf. They're going to clear up the close right, flash right after, and peek on it. Beautiful stuff. And then even another follows their way with Zane eventually draw. Seekers go out, but, well, <laughs> got hook of control. Spike planted. Oh, there's so much damage being done by the utility. Snake bites put into the corner. Shock darts put in there as well. They might be holding on to positioning, but they're just losing all of the battles in terms of HP. Timing could have gone a little bit wrong, but they actually jump in the wrong direction. And never mind, Trex has just found the kills anyway. And of course, as said, like Unko. You mentioned, and you can see why. The guy's pretty cracked. And he's playing Viper, so yeah, I like him. Of course you do. Of course you do. Well, we're going to follow oh! a lineup. Oh, he's pushed them both out of position. And then they also have the orbital strike to clear anybody so who tried to move to the left. It leaves only one spot they could be. And he's put another snake bite into the back corner. He's just cleared out this site with the utility. That is an execution and a half from OG. They thought of everything. That's so good. That uh, Honestly, I'm smiling ear to ear right now. I love we're, we're seeing plays that like round, that. Right. We're taking that oh, round. Oh, man. If someone hasn't clipped that round already, what are you even doing here, man? Let's go. That was gorgeous. I hope you had an idea for a, for a new show, didn't you, man? So, you know, that might fit in there. <laughs> oh, we'll talk about that a little <laughs> bit later. All right, Tom? Let's, let's keep it on the DL for now. Joseph, yet again, seems like this man is always left with a judge in his hand. A 1v5. We're looking into round number nine. That's almost as certainly going to OG. Question is, can he get anything for himself? It's not about damage to their economy. It's about saving a weapon for himself. Because at this point, it feels bad for ESP. But OG, oh they're looking so damn good. Zane, not able to hit that shot at all. Joseph, my man. He's buying the judge every round. But it doesn't seem to like him as much as he likes it. Two men left alive over on the side of VT. Destrian tagged up. But Unko's on the flank and catching. Second last player, leaving just Gastalion. Two little tags, he's gone to the classic now. Good potential. Their plant positions were safe. Like, they're, they're not messing around. Like, they've not gone, like, full aggressive, just taking huge risks. And, well, right now, it might be a little bit of a cluster round, but it, it is just methodical. Pla Underrated, I would say. I've got Mandeep from the UK wrapping it up there. We'll see what they can get done. And then I'm also looking at Heat Alliance. These guys also threw as I scroll through the brackets. Wave are currently in their next game as well. Mega Statute. A lot of good teams on the way. And Heretics are currently fighting against MTP and slaughtering them. <laughs> yeah, I think we can just not mention that one. Um, Pact have also made it through. It's well, Tom, and uh, don't ever make me try to do quick math. What, what, what was your, what was your, uh, didn't you start a degree? What was that degree in? Oh, it doesn't matter. It was uh, art, probably. It's, uh, a lot of fun stuff happening in the brackets. How do you get a pistol? They've done some damage to Destrian, the man that never died in the previous series. But, well, I was going to say he's being healed. Gastalion has just managed to find two. We might be, well, the 39 might have been a little bit too early. A call, but Trax and Tvik have quickly turned this back into a three versus three. The rotation coming in from the attackers, though. They're going to get themselves the A site. The rotation will come back in from Unko, who has a lot of utility to try and deny them, chip away at them a little bit in terms of that plant. But 
He's not going to be able to stop them, at least for now. Oh, gee, potentially losing their first round, Tom. I'm tapped back in and interested all of a sudden. Says me on the edge of my seat. Can VT get away with it? Trex caught off guard, and he's tickled up a little bit. Down to 40. Unko gets inside the smoke. A right click. Quickly dispatches the jet. Now, they look for a little bit more. Twick running up middle. Stampeding, but nobody hears him. It's all down to Zane. He's close, but no cigar. It Maybe this is where they finally meet their demise. The dash into heaven. Jet getting that little bit closer to hat spotted and Vic eventually taken down, protruding out of the edges. We have no way to stop that. Destrian dropping down. He's going to go back up. His teammate here to help him. The control on the flank is now cut off and Unko's here to harass, but he only gets the one VT. They're looking good to potentially connect their first round of this series so far to take OG's flawless record and shove it where the sun don't shine. But they're taking it slow, Tom. Look how seriously they know exactly the weight that this round could carry him with a free swing by Destry and nobody's there to trade. Ooh. Yeah, that, that, that's one of those spots where you can understand why the angle was held, not expecting anybody to peek that far through, but it should have been shut down. DPS has actually been able to upgrade as well. Now has himself still the life shields, but also picking up a ghost. Now they are going to get the control of the site. DPS misses shot, but then he's able to take out the teammate Trex as well. Is ever so deadly in pistols. And what was again looking so good is lap onto Joseph. No chance with only 8 HP. And it was. They can still use it both to try and lock off heaven, but also do it from the altar angle and get themselves some space, maybe for a mid to end. Well, Vic has shut down Gastallion, but there's going to be a couple more galloping towards this position. Luckily, there's support here. Trax makes his way up the rope and into the corner. They've spotted out. There's still one player around here, and that's the Spike running in. What? That's ludicrous. He runs forward. Now the rotates are definitely on their way. Karen avoids a paranoia, luckily. But I mean, it's a two versus five now. These players completely isolated, rush down, flush down, and that is it. I, I'm at a loss here, Tom. Ten seconds Why does left. the spike run forward like that? Yeah, I, I want to give. Oh, the, they're letting the him survive. The they're letting him survive, man. Oh, they're running this clock no. all the way down. They're running away. Uh, uh, take oh, your spike. Oh, yeah, get out of here, man. Me. You got no money. You can try to make use of this specter now that you don't have your uh, your vandal or your phantom. Oh, gonna swing on out. Holding onto the info. I love it. Like, this is something we see quite regularly from uh, from Nats, from Gambit. Won't necessarily tag anyone with his cam. We'll just sit within the cam and just use it for free information. Just call out everything to the team. You don't really need to tag people when you can use your words. I'm sure there's many people in rank two haven't quite learned that yet. Now, there is going to be a late lurk through middle. Yeah. There's a chance for the duel to go correctly. Karen, actually she got a kill onto DPS. The aftershock. Do you see the aftershock? Yeah. The new aftershock, of course, which actually doesn't do... It does more damage overall, but doesn't do as much on the individual hit. So that's quite surprising. Yeah, man. It's, it's just those One little thumps remaining. that it lets out. Spike down A. Trex quickly grabbing one with the granada and karen's all alone phantom in hand but no time to react and that's a free upgrade as well once it gets to this stage this is where it becomes incredibly difficult now it's gonna be a fast execution coming in onto the b site the problem is the spike's gone three players have sat behind and it, it just looks disjointed right now from vt almost a little bit lost in what to do so much utility being popped paranoia to deny them then the flash points coming out <laughs> yeah that's true Tom, we're going to have to go into custom server later, because I, I didn't think about OT in the first place. <laughs> if it's three away, then that makes them more powerful in OT, oh, which is no, interesting. That's the that's... flash combo. Oh. He was so blind, didn't stand a chance. Now, Castalian has been able to find the lone defender of B. It forces a rotation. In fact, it forces a full team rotation. Every single member moved. DPS has decided, you know what, let's leave one behind. Let's at least fight. And Castalian is ready for the peak from Destrian. Again, this is one of the best opportunities we've seen now from VT to at least get themselves around. But Trex is still standing. Yeah, the discipline to just back out as well. He still has the nade, so he can deny even more time. 30 seconds 30 on seconds the clock. And these players nade. still need to clear. This is, well, yeah, from the kill, right? 
The Flash comes out. <laughs> DPS, not able to get the slow down. He's holding it instead with the Phantom. The nade, not going to come through till the slow is in position. And this is where it can do some serious damage. In fact, Trex swings on the back of it, ensuring that those players are in a lot of hot water. Karen, in trouble now. They suspect him to be towards the back. That blast back goes through. And get themselves in a spot where they're playing close plant with time on their side. And, well, Neural Theft isn't going to happen. The DPS just swung straight into him and killed him. Destrian does the same, and here we go. Being torn apart. Being torn to shreds. My God, DPS, give them some room to breathe. The Flash comes in, but DPS doesn't stop there. Four on the board. Six. Drop the spawn with a rolling thunder. They get control of the A site. And now, they're going to be comfortable to just sit there on the site and wait for OG to come to them. There is a rolling thunder on OG, though. That scares me. Yeah, three ultimates already used in this round for VT. It is a must win. And there goes the Rolling Thunder on the other side. Already looking to try and clear things through. It's double oh pedestrian. Going for a little oh. bit more. tracks with another. Oh. And now just going to oh. use the showstopper to close it out as well. A flawless retake. As said, that... No. Oh. Well, I, anyone who has, I hope you're reading Kandiski's comment in the voice of the... I can't remember his name. The guy from the Three Comic Club. Because you're right. This team is good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that, that may be a bit of an understatement there. I, I think there's a few more hyperlatives you could have used there. But, you know, good uh, suffices at oh, least tracks. this time. Oh, tracks. Oh, dear. Uh, the the, the hole is like... Off, he's in behind as well. One he's just going to wipe down the remaining players. It was like, okay, Element has to just get a ridiculous amount of kills to hold down a site on his own playing as a Reina or something like that. But that's what we were hoping for. Whereas I don't feel like anybody really needs to be the star. And at the same time, a lot of them are. Even the reads that are coming out have been solid. Gambling with their stacks. Four players on B. <laughs> and okay, that might have been a little bit He's overzealous. Not just trying to jump. Sorry, potentially. We talk about single maps. 30 seconds it's like left. this 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 is a, a demotivating situation. They're all oh, no. Into the paranoia you go. Player up close, dealt with immediately. Uncle looks for another, gets it now. Suspicious of elbow! And he reads them like a book! One player left alive in the form of Joseph. Not with a judge this time, but not with a lot of hope. Ten seconds, and the spike on the other side of the that was just perfect. Like, it doesn't really get much better than that in how to hold down a site, how to support players. And oh, there are the supportive flashes. It kind of catches back as well, but it gives opening. It's another double out from Trex. And Joseph is just like, oh, it's Sorry, I, me on my own. I've got deja vu of the previous round. Joseph's in the same position, same weapon, and same situation. More or less, time's a little bit better for him. This is disgraceful. Uh, oh, gee, you're, you're not allowed to do this, guy. Let's see how the night goes. Will he get to deserve? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, before this goes too far, it's 11 to 0. And we're facing in the final round of the half. Destrian pops off on a Gastalion, putting it potentially on 12 to 0. Showstopper comes out, Drex, not giving them a single second to breathe. Those knives, the blade storm, but the blast pack used to just buy time and get him up closer. That's so nice from Drex. He's tucked up next to the garbage can and hoping. That these players are going to come through and give him the clip of his lifetime. Potentially 51 straight rounds. Trex going out for a little bit more. There it is. Catches him. Blast pack in. Just bullying him at this point. The blade storm needs to be huge. And he can't get it done through the entire day. 52 rounds and not dropped a single one. This is stupid. Like, that, that, that's the only this is VT's chance, their opportunity, and it's going to start with Jet. He's going brain. out, and oh no, he doesn't even manage to dash away, and Joseph gets caught in the crossfire. He hadn't even peeked out. They're still spraying a Jet, and Joseph just gets boinked on the head. Now Jet's down as well, oh. a 5v3, before VT even get a chance to do anything in this. This is looking devastating. 5v2, Nade in, Gastalion being tagged on his way out. Tom, surely this isn't 52 to 0, and it yep. is.